Good morning, interwebs. It's about 11.40, and I am currently standing on my porch in the cold, trying to catch a sunbeam and escape my children. We are having a crappy day. I'm hoping that this is the low point and not the high point. Um, my day started out with me, like, sleeping in longer than I anticipated, and probably longer than I should have, but that was because... My sons both ended up in bed with me because they are not feeling all that great and, you know, they wanted to cuddle and whatever. So that just sucks my energy out while they do that. But I'm glad that, you know, it makes them feel better. And then apparently Steve got home early, which I didn't even know because he just crawled in bed because, of course, he has to go to sleep because today is his last adult soccer, which I guess the one good point of that is this is the last time we have to deal with this because I really don't like our Monday schedule with him doing soccer, but I'm glad he enjoys soccer, yada, yada. I just think it's a big pain and not a lot of people come and he usually ends up frustrated by it, but in theory, he's happy to go. So whatever with that. And then he also, the one thing he did inform me of this morning as I was getting out of bed was, oh, by the way, I felt your crock pot this morning that you had on with the squash soup last night and it was cold. So I turned it on high because apparently the low setting is now broken. Yay. So my giant crock pot is like breaking. So I'm going to have to get a new one, I guess. Um, I mean, it still works on high, but frequently you know you need the low setting that's part of the idea of having a crock pot so I have to get a new crock pot and the kids are all just loud and mean to each other and just ugh, annoying this morning and it's cold so they don't really want to go outside I mean it's not like crazy cold but it's colder than it's been and it's kind of the breeze is kind of chilly as I'm sitting here so I don't really want to kick them out the door but yeah so I'm hiding <laughs> How's that working for me? Not super well. Um, I guess I should go inside and be productive. I think I'm going to put some bread in the bread maker today because I would like some bread. I also think I'm going to make myself a cake because I want a cake. Because, you know, let's just feed our feelings, right? That's that's a good plan. But I don't know if that's a good plan, but I think it's the plan I'm going to go with. I'm going to do that. And then there's some laundry on the couch that needs to be folded. Maybe I'll fold that, like towels and blankets and stuff. And I've been working on my sister's Christmas present. My sister and brother-in-law's, like, you know, their couple gift. Um, trying to get Christmas presents done today. Some of them, because I want to start... I was trying to decide whether I wanted to start mailing some stuff now. I don't know if that's obnoxious to my family if gifts start showing up now. But I think it would be nice, since we have to mail everything that we're sending to California, to, like, space out the postage a little. I mean... I pull money aside anyways, so it's like the money's budgeted for, but just to spend it a little, uh, not all in one feel swoop might be nice. I don't know. I haven't quite decided on that, but I'm trying to get some Christmas stuff done for family gifts and then also maybe some gifts for us. We'll see, but I don't know. It's a day. Yay. It's a little before one and I've got my bread going. I don't think, oh, maybe you can see it. I've got some wheat and rye bread going in the bread maker. This is the soup that I was making with the squash and the crock pot. Um, I'm just letting it simmer now since, you know, it didn't cook last night. <laughs> and then over here for lunch, I made some white gravy with hamburger in it. And then in the oven, we have some biscuits Ooh, and some steam. Biscuits made with some of the kusha as the, like, wet ingredient. And then on the top is an oatmeal cake. So, I've got a lot of cooking done, and that felt good. And the kids have been playing upstairs, so they are, you know, slightly more contained. And Steve is now awake, so I'm less worried that they're just being loud and obnoxious and waking him up. Though I don't know that he got a whole lot of sleep this morning, but oh well. And, yeah. We're going to eat here soon. The biscuits should be done in approximately six minutes. Yum. <sighs> so it is about, I don't know, 10.50. It's 10.50. And the boys are still not asleep. I thought they were. But apparently they're not. <sighs> it's 11.30. And I'd like to think all the kids are sleeping, but... I think I just heard noise upstairs, which means they're not. 
Yay! Which means I'm not. I thought I was going to go to sleep quite yet, but... It's just been one of those days. When the kids have one of those days, it just trickles down. I know that when I have one of those days, it probably trickles down to them too, but it is so much worse when all of them are just having a bad time. Um, Steve went to soccer prayer, or like the soccer thing tonight. I guess there weren't a lot of people there, but thankfully it was the last one, so now that's over, and we had muffin tins for dinner. <laughs> we had a different muffin tin than usual. Um, my bread was a fail. I think my yeast was far too old, so I had Steve get me some new yeast. We'll try again tomorrow, maybe. Um, but when we ate what I made, it just wasn't exactly, like, sliceable bread or even, like, breakable bread. It was very crumbly, and it didn't really rise, and it only took up, like, half the pan. So we had that, and then we had the squash soup. Um, so that, the squash soup was in two of the muffin tins, and the bread was in one. And then we had dried apples in one and dried bananas in another. And then um, oatmeal cake for dessert. Now Steve and I may have already tested out the oatmeal cake this afternoon. And yes, it was delicious every time I had some today. <laughs> so first little, that oatmeal cake. I could probably justify it for breakfast tomorrow, you know, oatmeal cake. Um, we'll see. That is one of our favorite things to do, though, is have oatmeal cake for breakfast when we have oatmeal cake. <sighs> Oh, I hung my my mat back up on the wall today. I just got sick of it falling over over here, so I went ahead and pinned it up even though it's not. I had had this great idea I was going to use yardsticks, wooden yardsticks around the outside and like frame it, but you can't find wooden yardsticks anywhere anymore. Like they used to be, you know... Does anybody else remember when they used to make a promotional item and everywhere had them and like hardware stores all carried them and stuff? Well, they don't carry them at Menards and they don't, our local hardware store had run out, you know, because they have things that have literally been in there since the 70s, um, the same item, just waiting for someone to someday buy it. But apparently they ran out of yardsticks and they were reconsidering whether to buy them or not again. Um, I went to Joanne's and checked. They did have wooden yardsticks. They were like $8 and they were the really like fancy ones. I want, you know, cheap yardsticks. <laughs> Hard to find. And yes, I recognize that I could probably find them online. But I kind of wanted to like see them in person and make sure they were what I wanted before I committed. Because really, I know you can find just about anything online. But sometimes the rabbit hole that leads me into is just not worth even trying to buy things online. Um, but yeah, so I decided the map just needed to go up, so I just hung it up with clear push pins, and it seems to be doing the job. I had had it hung up with, like, the command strip poster strips, and there were, like, six or eight of them on there, but I don't know if it was the humidity or what, they, like, peeled off the wall. So, the pins should work, at least for now. Did I do anything else of interest today? Not really. Oh, I worked on my socks some more. I uh, finished the heel, so I finished the heel flap, and then did like a decrease, and now I'm going up the leg, and I keep trying it on, and they're super comfortable, so they're not the prettiest things, but during the winter, a lot of the most comfortable items to wear really aren't the prettiest things, and I'm alright with that, so... I guess I will get this uploaded and see how far I get tonight. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. Nighty night.